Okay, so I'm going to assume you've watched the prior video on how to get started here using data.world and learning SQL. So let's go ahead and open up here the list of queries we're going to work from. So here we have write a SQL statement that will return all employees' names first and last only. So we're going to start by learning the select and from keywords. So here it's given us an example. The keyword select, star means all. Well, we don't want all, um, but I'll get to that in a minute. But then it says from employee. So after select goes the list of attributes, and this could be attributes from any and all entities or tables that are in this schema over here. From tells you which tables you're going to need to get them from. So we want first and last names only. So we see the name and look at it, it brings it up for you right here. It says we find something called first name in your data set schema. Yep, sure enough, there's a column called first name. Now we have to spell this uh, correctly. We have to make sure that what we use here in the SQL matches exactly what the name of the table is over here in the schema. So I can click on first name, comma, last name. And it says from where? From employee. Okay, that's just the table name right here. So give us those two columns out of employee. Let's double check and make sure that's exactly what they wanted. First and last name is only perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to come over here and hit run query. So running, hang tight, here we go. So it gives us a list, first name, last name. What exactly are we seeing here? So the question is, is this a copy now of all the data that's over here? Well, this data in the schema and the original tables, we call this the physical view of the database. There's one physical view and it's where the actual data is stored. A query we call a logical view of the database. And it's not creating a copy of all the data. The only thing that's being saved when you create a query is this text right here. This text gets processed or run, and then the results get saved in memory or in your computer's RAM or in the RAM of the server you're running it on. So it's living only temporarily while you need it. Now, if we want to, we could hit download here, export this to an Excel file or, or save it somewhere else or as a CSV, and then we could use these results. This is going to be a very common task that every student in the Marriott School or in our business school here is going to have to perform in their jobs. This is, this is not something that just IS students or information systems professionals will do anymore. Uh, every discipline needs to learn SQL because you'll be given access to databases and your job will be to analyze this data. And if you have to wait for somebody else to pull it out for you, you're going to be a bit of a burden on the company or at least on yourself. It's going to take you a lot more time if you don't know how to write this SQL yourself. If you do know how to write it, well then all you need to be given is a username and password access to the data set and then you can write your own SQL to get whatever data you want to analyze. So anyway, you've written your very first query. Let's save this right here. We're called, we'll call this um, Gold Star uh, Query 1. That'll work. Anyone with access to this data set or else we can say nah, only me so I can see this for now. Let's do that. So whenever you save these, We'll uh, make them private so we don't add too many to this particular data set if you're borrowing mine. But uh, that's it for query one. Let's make a new one in the next video.